After Tottenham Liverpool was mired in controversy, the PGMOL have admitted that Luis Diaz's goal was incorrectly ruled out as the result of a significant human error. We thought it a good time to look back at some of the other big mistakes that have cost Liverpool in recent years. We start nearly 10 years ago at the start of Liverpool and City's rivalry for the Premier League. On Boxing Day of 2013, Liverpool lost 2-1 to Man City but an astonishing decision to call Raheem Sterling offside when he was through on goal arguably cost Liverpool two points and the title. Of course other things would go on to affect where the trophy finished at the end of the season, but this game would have left Liverpool top of the league had they won. While frustrating, that offside call was easier to forgive given they had no replays. Now though, some of the calls coming up are really hard to understand, especially now there's VAR. 2018 saw another match between Tottenham and Liverpool that finished in controversy. The Reds drew 2-2 against Spurs, but not before John Moss had made a mess of a penalty decision. Harry Kane was awarded a penalty despite being offside in the build-up. As you can see here, John Moss admitted that he had no idea whether it should be a penalty, but gave it anyway. Kane was involved again a couple of years later and could have been sent off in 2021 for this tackle. Being the England captain definitely helped in there, as the commentator even alluded to. With Kane still on the pitch, the match finished 2-2 and Liverpool ended up losing the title by one point. The next decision on this list is also a red card, or should have been anyway. This time it involves Vincent Kompany tackling Salah, in what will be remembered as one of the most high quality games of football in Premier League history. Kompany was actually lucky to be on the pitch for most of it, he clattered Salah and wasn't sent off. Guardiola's team went on to win the match 2-1 and City won the league by one point. Now where have we heard that before? Next, another incident involving Man City in a different title race. This time, we're not actually looking at a Liverpool game. Instead, across the park, City were playing Everton. With the visitors 1-0 up, Robbery appeared to produce a handball inside the box, but nothing was given. Given the state of the handball law these days, meaning that almost any time you touch the ball in the box, it's a penalty, it was incredibly strange not to see this given. Once again, this proves hugely costly in the title race and Man City went on to narrowly win the league. After the incident, Everton even received a apology, admitting the mistake. In what was one of the most unusual incidents you've probably ever seen on a football pitch, Andy Robertson was elbowed by assistant referee Konstantin Hatsidakis. As the pair were leaving the pitch for half time, Robertson, who had probably been in Hatsidakis' ear all game, unprovoked, was given an elbow to the face by the linesman. In the end, no further action was taken by the FA and the linesman apologised. What made the situation even more bizarre though at the time was that Andy Robertson was actually given a yellow card after the elbow, but nothing for Hatsidakis. Football behind closed doors may now be well at the back of your memory, but if you cast your minds back, there was a game between Liverpool and Everton at Goodison Park that threw up a couple of mad decisions. First off, with less than 10 minutes played, Jordan Pickford came in on Van Dijk with this horror tackle. Amazingly, not even a free kick or yellow card was given, and the game carried on. Van Dijk though, was out for months after. Later on in the game, Liverpool were then denied a winning goal, Henderson thought he got the winner late on, but instead it was ruled out for offside. I'll let you decide whether it was off or not. The officials certainly thought so. Bringing us into the new season, Alexis McAllister was sent off earlier this campaign against Bournemouth. The decision was widely condemned as a mistake and eventually he had his free match suspension overturned. In Curtis Jones and Diogo Jota's red cards, Liverpool were harshly done to, but that wasn't the worst of it. Luis Diaz's goal before half-time was incorrectly ruled out for offside, and since, a fallout has seen officials accused of gross incompetence on in their job. The PGMOL has had to release a statement saying they were wrong, and it now appears through new reports that the mistake was simply down to an admin error, with communication between the on-field referee and officials in the VAR booth not clear enough. It is important to remember that every team has decisions go against them, but for Liverpool at the moment, it seems that there's more negatives than positives in the refereeing department. And with a team of officials including a video assistant referee and his assistants, there's no excuse for some of the mistakes being made.